So I'm back today with day four of Boom Beach. As you can see, my base has changed tremendously again. I have upgraded my machine gun to two, and my sniper towers to four. And I am now building my mortar to level two. I have moved my headquarters in the corner, and I have gotten rid of some of the trees by using the dig button. I currently have three boats. I finally got my landing craft to level four, so then I put the tank dudes in it, which means I have two of them. They take up four units, so then that means I have two, so that means I switch those from that to this, so there I have two of them instead of the four. That would make sense. And then I have upgraded my armory. I am now... I've upgraded my health, I've, my armory dudes, and I am in the process of upgrading my tank dude. And since I was gone last time, I've gotten attacked a few times. Let's take a look at the two battles. I have won. Okay, now that we've seen how I've been doing with attacks, let me attack. Two. So let's look at this one. It's level seven. Should be relatively easy. It's got two sniper towers. It's got a mortar around. Level four. Mortar around is what I got to worry about here. I am going to send my tank dudes in first. My guys behind it. I am going to watch. And then send a health in. As soon as it looks like they're about to die, I'm going to hurry up and send another tank dude. Send another health in. I'm going to have them go for the same one. And then have that go in. Now I'm going to have them both go for the sniper tower. and then have them go for the headquarters. And then use the rest of my points, because those points do not come back and kill the headquarters. Now I have won this battle. And again, just to review with those points, those points you get by upgrading your battleship, but those points do not come back and you start with the same amount each time so you might as well use all the points each time we have most of our guys back I'm going to attack let's cut this person first and I'm going to look at the defenses and see their line and if you see right here it looks like there's a barrier right here and if I attack this way I can avoid g killing anything that's right here and go around and I will only have to kill this mortar round and I should be able to win this battle. Let's see how that strategy works. So I'm going to deploy all these on the far side, all my guys on the far side. And I'm going to hopefully see where they go. Okay, I'm going to have them go that way. I'm going to have them go for the thing in the middle, and then I'm going to send my health thing in the middle, and then as soon as that mortar round's dead, I am going to direct them to the far corner. And then have them attack the headquarters, and then I'm going to use the rest of my bombs on the headquarters. And if you see, that was a major flaw that I found in this base. I was able to go around all these mines, these two sniper towers, and that machine gun there, and just go around and go for this headquarters. And I'm just going to speed along and...
Okay, we're back. And as you can see, I won by just outsmarting the way they def put out their defenses. And again, that's key. You want to always scout. So just to continue, I'm still level 10 with my headquarters at level 4. Tonight I'm going to get my headquarters up to level 5, which will allow me to build more and advance more in the game. With the uh, expansion, you get this new guy called Zoka, which we're going to experiment with tomorrow. And then I get another sniper tower, and I get a sculptor. So that's what we're going to be looking at for tomorrow. And, and again, this has been day four. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos, and thanks again for watching.